waiting for it to upload. We slept in this morning, right, Mochi? Do we sleep in? But that's what weekends are for, to sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> now I need to make breakfast. Coke Zero. Jonathan, I think you have a problem. <laughs> I bought all the Coke Zero. But it was on sale. So, so I'm gonna make some eggs with Italian sausage for breakfast. Never done this before, but it sounds good. If we have cheese, it'll be even better. Sausage pretty much done. Now I'm gonna take out most of the sausage, cook the eggs in here. Egg and sausage. Just need to put some cheese. Now that is a delicious keto breakfast. Yum. So I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I'm gonna get ready and then hopefully go to the store today because we have nothing in our refrigerator except for like meat and soda, like Coke Zero Sugar Soda. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi. John just got me a really cool lens converter. Converter. I love you. Now the lens comes out a little bit more, but it should be fine. This is neat. I love this. It's time to go from mess to dressed. Done. So, straightening my hair has made me realize that I really need a haircut because it's super, super thick. And the whole reason I never, or I haven't thinned it out since I've been growing it is because um, the hairstylist told me if I thin it out while I'm trying to grow it, it's gonna feel and also take, I don't know, a lot longer for it to grow out. So she said like, don't thin it. She's like, just grow it, grow it. Once it gets a little bit longer, then you can go ahead and thin it. So I'm thinking like, now that it's about to here, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal if I go through and I thin out all this like super thickness and maybe put in a bang or, I don't know. It gets so frizzy, but I find like it's hard to like, tame it so it's all sleek and together. Ah, I don't know. Plus I always get these little flyaways. I just hate using so much hairspray because then my hair doesn't feel soft anymore. Whenever I'm getting ready. He's usually over here taking a nap. You need to wash hands and boy in the world. <laughs> you want a treat? You want a treat? Let's get a treat. Come on. Want a treat? Want some water? Did you drink all your water this morning? Okay, so the plan is I'm gonna go to a couple stores. Um, I need to get some groceries, so I have something to eat for lunch tomorrow. And then things, you know, just random things. Look at this day. So much overcast. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Where, where are you going? I need coffee. It's like magic. Mm. As many of you know, I am on the keto diet, 
which means um, I eat a very very low carb diet it's 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 kind of a complicated diet but um, I can't have sugar and I can't have um, a lot of carbs but when I come to Starbucks there's a couple different drinks that I get and this is one um, that I read online that was supposed to be really really good and it is a cold brew coffee with heavy whipping cream sugar-free vanilla and peppermint and it is delicious like and it tastes like Christmas so now I don't really feel like I'm missing out by not getting one of those like peppermint frappuccinos like I still feel very festive and I'm still on keto so this is awesome like this is really good but just to clarify make sure you ask for the sugar-free syrups if you just ask for regular peppermint or regular vanilla you're gonna be getting a buttload of sugar it's too dark hopefully it's not too dark but it is so dark outside and it is 440. But I keep seeing random flashes of light, so I'm kind of thinking that part of this is just like a thunderstorm because I did see in the forecast that there was like random showers coming through. But right now I'm about to go into Aldi's. I need to get some groceries by myself because John didn't want to go to the store. He wanted to play some games. Men. And I accidentally GPSed myself to the wrong Aldi's and I got here and it's actually closer to my house than the other Aldi's that I was going to and there was a Starbucks like right here right next to the Aldi so I'm like wow that could have saved me some gas if I would have just came to the Starbucks here and then went into the Aldi anyway now I know that's cool ever find something in your neighborhood you didn't know was there close to your neighborhood that you didn't know was there it's pretty cool I just got back from shopping in Aldi's and if you can hear, it's raining. If you shop at Aldi's, you know you have to return the cart back to where you got it. So, and then the bags were really heavy because I kind of bought a lot so that way I won't have to come back for a while. And, um, oh my goodness, it was such a struggle. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna head home and then um, I think John and I might go to Walmart. I don't know if he's gonna want to now that it's raining. Oh, flashes of light. All right, heading home. So turn the oven on for the first time and it started smelling kind of weird so we thought at first maybe there was plastic or something but I think it's just because it's the first time we've ever turned the oven on. So so far so good. Made some like bacon wrapped chicken tenders and so they're in here and they're cooking. They're gonna take about 25-30 minutes to cook and then this is gonna be uh, dinner tonight and then lunch for tomorrow. Some chicken bacon. Some Koei Jack cheese, and I'm making broccoli too, but it's just not ready yet. I'm so sad. I just burned the broccoli because I was editing. <laughs> I burned it because I was busy editing. Now it smells bad. Well, thank you so much for watching Vlogmas Day 3. Keep a lookout for future vlogs to come. Um, I might be throwing in some of my vlogs that I already recorded and adding them into 
vlogmas just because I really don't want to waste them and I still have my renaissance festival vlog um, that I need to edit and post so keep an eye out for that one but thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye